Yeah. I appreciate there you go. y'all. Thank you. <laughs> and, and, and I just want to say how much I appreciate Puff Dan for, for doing the kinds of work that he's doing because he doesn't have to do this. Uh, but this is part of what is important about giving back. It's my birthday party, and we got the first black president in this motherfucker. Is this the best or the worst? What do you do? <laughs> the best. Okay, the best. Okay. Um, probably the Obama thing. <laughs> no! John, what's the, the oh Obama. god? Usher, Justin Bieber, Jay Z. These are regular names everyone expects to pop up in the Diddy scandal. But what if I told you that this case is much deeper than the entertainment industry and could bring down even the most powerful politicians in America? Especially Barack and Michelle Obama. I'm gonna tell you who I I believe is on the tapes. I believe Barack Obama got a tape. People have been trying to throw every famous politician into this Diddy case, and considering Obama's relationship with Diddy, it's not shocking to see him so high up on the list. Remember when Diddy campaigned for Obama back in 2008? <laughs> Can y'all feel it? Yeah. Tomorrow, we're gonna shock the world. It's all the lucky numbers and you will be feeling it. So many people fought and died for us to have the right that we have right now in early voting, the rights that we have tomorrow. And it's such a proud moment to see all of us out here. They said, Diddy, Obama blog, so Rock Obama meets Barack Obama. Four years ago, um, I had the privilege to meet Barack Obama. Um, interview him, predict that he was going to be something big, and also joke around with him, have some, you know, we had some funny banter back and forth, you know. Um, you must stand in line for change. You heard Mary speak so eloquently about a time to change. You heard Puff speak about his son's hope. Although Obama isn't the only politician Diddy is friends with, the relationship seems kind of special, opening up room for wild conspiracy theories. Social media has been filled with these kinds of theories since Diddy got arrested, with many people claiming that he was part of a secret network that includes both politicians, billionaires, and Hollywood's biggest stars. There is a, a mixture here, a blend of the music industry, the sports industry, especially the sports industry out there in, in uh, California, in, in the Hollywood, Los Angeles area. Um, I guarantee that there's also other sports figures from other parts of the country that would go to these, these whatever they call them, the freak parties or whatever. There, there are po political people that we're going to find out in all this. And there are, of course, people in the media industry. Because Listen to what former NYPD detective Derek Parker has to say about Diddy's court case. And you have high profile celebrities and maybe even politicians or people of influence that might be on these tapes. It has all the makings of a similarity to what Diddy's case is. I think they're looking at this case more like a RICO because it has all the components of that, which is a racketeering influence corrupt organization. Even his former bodyguard claims that a few politicians may be on the Diddy tapes. I don't think it's only celebrities going to be shook. He had politicians in there. He had princes in there. He also had a couple of preachers in there. You personally, you think they got tapes? Well, my personal opinion that if Lil Rob could be trusted and his statement are true, they got him. I might be calling him that, as you know. The Sean Combs case is bigger than you think. Not a case about an entertainer. This case is a big deal. Why did I tell you that? Because, folks, I worked with the Clinton detail for a long time up in New York when she was running for Senate. And they hung around with this whole crowd. That's right. Oh, look, DailyMail.com. Diddy's bodyguard says there are tapes of politicians at freak-offs. His, his freak-out parties in attendance were celebrities, politicians, athletes, international dignitaries like British royalty, Prince Harry, and music label executives. Lil Ron claims some of the biggest names in the recording industry sponsored these parties. 
with sex workers, drugs, and underage girls. Many of you came here thinking or hoping or perhaps uh, believing that I may start naming names. Well, that day will come, but it won't be today. The day will come when we will name names other than Sean Combs, and there's a lot of names. Um, it's a long list already. And, of course, I already know who some of these individuals are. But because of the nature of this case, we're going to make damn sure, damn sure that we're right before we do that. Uh, but the names that we're going to name, assuming that our investigators confirm and corroborate what we've been told, are names that will shock you. These are individual cases. There are indeed other perpetrators involved. They will be revealed when that particular individual case is ready to be filed. They already know who they are. And I'm talking here about not just the cowardly but complicit bystanders. That is, those people that we know watched this behavior occur and did nothing. But I'm talking about the people that participated, encouraged it, egged it on. They know who they are. Since this story blew up, a lot of people have been comparing the Diddy case with the infamous Jeffrey Epstein scandal, which implicated a whole lot of high-profile politicians. For one, Diddy's got an island just like Epstein. Yeah. Very first time. Yeah, I have an island. <laughs> <laughs> this, is just, this, 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 is, this is just for inspirational motivation and uses only, you know what I'm saying? You don't know a lot of black men that come from the hood that got an island. I got an island, it's called Love Island. So when I took you to Love Island, mm -hmm. and then and then you realized that you know the plane landed, and then we had to float to another island. Mm -hmm. What was going through your head when we were going there? I was like, I'm gonna go to war by this nigga, he mad. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite time that I took you off the grid? Um, we when you going off the grid with me? You gotta go to sleep for a week. Yeah, because it's, it's definitely giving us sleep. The most well connected guys in the country. He owned a record label, cable channel, clothing line, and was the Democrats' top community organizer. Diddy wasn't working alone. And now that he's behind bars, Hollywood's breaking out in a cold sweat. Here's gonna come after him. I think it's the latter. Well, this is what I got. I went researching all night to figure out who are P. Diddy's Democratic friends. The, the news called them, this was a left-leaning news article that I read that said this. They said he is a prolific and well-established donor of the Democratic Party and their causes. That's what they said. P. Diddy is a donor and a supporter of Democratic causes. This is what I also found. He's very good friends with Oprah Winfrey. You know, the same Oprah that was at the Democratic National Convention a few weeks ago telling us how great Kamala was. That, that Oprah Winfrey. Oh, get this one. This is a good one. Barack Obama. Pictures posted with Barack Obama on social media in September of 2017. To make the whole situation even worse, P. Diddy even got awarded the key to New York City by Mayor Eric Adams. This was in September of 2023 a year before his arrest. Today in the city, videos have been playing on the Jumbotron for TSX Broadway and the crowd waited. Then around 11.30, the doors opened for the mayor and the artist. Um, entertainment is getting the key to the city from the bad boy of politics. I want to thank y'all for this honor and just recognizing me being from New York, giving me the key to the city. He finally has the key to the city. Today's event come. Hey yo, New York! New York, we fucking did it! Harlem, we did it, Mount Vernon, we did it! The Bronx, we fucking did it! Let's go! But as soon as the Cassie lawsuit came out, Mayor Adams did a 180 and requested that Diddy return the key at once. We were deeply disturbed by watching that chilling, chilling uh, video of uh, the a young lady being assaulted um, uh, by him and the committee and the team. We've never rescinded a key, a, a key before, but we are now sitting down to see what the next steps uh, forward are going to be. So you are considering it? 
We, I'll take it everything under analysis and the team will come back with me with a final determination. Um, it basically, uh, according to TMZ, it's basically saying that after the Cassie video was released to the public, he reached out to Diddy and the letter is published on less. You guys could see it. He was just basically says, like many people, I was deeply disturbed by the recent video footage of Sean Diddy Combs assaulting his then partner. And I strongly condemn the actions and stand in solidarity with all survivors of domestic and gender based violence. And our city has worked tirelessly to make sure survivors are heard and seen by our administration and he goes on to say like yo look the key to the city is presented to individuals whose service to the public and to the common good rises at the highest level of achievement so basically give my key back mm. New tonight, Sean Diddy Combs returned his honorary key to the city at the request of Mayor Eric Adams. The Harlem native was awarded the key last September, but returned it on June 10th. The However, not long after Diddy was arrested, Mayor Eric Adams was also caught up in his own scandal, which may or may not have to do with Diddy. Breaking news tonight, for the first time in the history of New York City, a sitting mayor has been indicted for crimes. Here are some of the benefits that we uncovered during our investigation. In 2016, Adams flew to India through Turkey and received two free round trip upgrades for business class seats. That's the highest class on Turkey's national airline. Those upgrades were worth more than $12,000 and none of it was publicly disclosed. In 2017, Adams accepted free business class tickets for himself and his travel companions to France, Turkey and China. And he was put up in the Bentley suite in the St. Regis Hotel in Istanbul. All of that was worth more than $41,000, and none of it was publicly disclosed. According to the details that's currently available to the public, the mayor was arrested on corruption and bribery charges. But is this really the end of it? A lot of people don't really think so. But all this is bigger than Diddy. It's bigger than Diddy, bro. Because you know who else they was doing investigation on during that whole time period? It was the mayor and the politicians in New York City. They turn around, give him the city, the key to the city. All the mayor people that he brought on here in New York City are all resigning. However, Obama and Mayor Adams are not the only politicians Diddy had a close relationship with. He's been seen with Hillary Clinton multiple times. Politicians that young people relate to. And we wanted to just hear a message on why you feel it's important for them to vote this year. Young people that, and, and please uh, um, talk to the people that are disenfranchised that don't believe in the power of their vote. Well, I really think that this year more than any other. Uh Sean Diddy Combs' notorious parties allegedly feature Hillary Clinton in scenes that will upend the political establishment in Washington, D.C. and send shockwaves around the world. Diddy now sits in prison, fearful that he will not survive long enough to face his day in court. While rumours circulate that Hillary is anxious that she'll be the next powerful figure to be exposed. Whistleblowers, including those closest to Diddy and the Clintons, are coming forward with damning evidence of sex crimes and crimes against children involving Hollywood stars, famous athletes, and DC elites. Hillary has survived countless scandals, but this time there's no covering it up. The tide has turned, the truth is being laid bare, and it's about to rock the entire system to its core. That's not all though. Before he became the president of the United States, Trump also had a peculiar friendship with Diddy, which he publicly attested to. Working for Diddy for six years trained me to have to be perfect. Working for Diddy? Absolutely. I love Diddy. You know, he's a good friend of mine. He's a good guy. He Is he a good guy? I don't want to answer that oh, question. Oh, well, I, I think know. he's... A so, could Diddy really be part of a strange network like everyone believes? The chances of that are pretty high, to be honest. Or how else would you explain how he got away with his crimes for so long? Jaguar... Get this, on vacation. If this goes to court, Jaguar, do you think the, the world is going to be shocked by what comes out? Oh, absolutely. I just don't know why they are. It's been happening in front of everyone's faces for decades. For decades. You see all the stuff that's going on with Diddy? Yeah. Everything going on? You see with Diddy though, man, we knew about Diddy for years. That ain't no secret. Everybody knew about that. Like everybody, like, that ain't no secret. The feds know a lot.
to all these years because remember they started the hip hop police and all that years ago because mm -hmm. of Puffy and um Shook. Feds been watching them. They know about all that. They had agents and all Diddy parties, getting freak offs too. Feds been on them. But remember, Puff had the power, so the Feds couldn't really touch him. But now the same power that held him down is breaking him in half. Didn't you have uh, an encounter with Suge Knight before? Yeah. A couple of days ago, Ariel Mitchell Kidd revealed that there was another tape of Diddy having sex with a prominent person more famous than him that is currently being shopped around in Hollywood. I also was just recently contacted by someone who wanted me to essentially represent them in the sale of one of the Diddy tapes. So, um, which I declined that because... Uh, Wait a minute, say that again. Say that again, back up. Uh, you're saying that there's tapes and they're being shopped? Yes, there have been people already shopping. We've heard about the tapes, but yes. the, the, the shopping thing is Yes, there already have been tapes uh, leaking around Hollywood, being shopped around to individuals in Hollywood. But one particular person contacted me to shop a particular video they were in possession of and to contact the person who was in the video to see if they were interested in purchasing the video before it became a public knowledge. Uh, I've heard this before, so like a catch and kill. Catch and kill, correct. Wow, can you, and I guess you can't reveal the person who is on No, I can't tape. explain who the person was, but Mr. High profile? Combs, Mr. Combs was in the tape, and this other person is, I would venture to say, more high profile than Mr. Combs. Really? Really? And you've seen it? Or I've you... seen stills of the video. Okay. Um, I so you can verify it. That, I, I, that it exists, that it's real, that the other person in the video is very visible. It's no question if it's that person in the video and i can tell the video was pornographic in nature but even though she never mentioned any names in her statement a lot of theories have emerged especially on twitter with people trying to guess which politician or celebrity was in the tape some claim it's the obamas other believed it was probably jay-z but as of right now we don't really know for sure in another interview about a whole different case she also mentioned how the police may be trying to cover up for diddy's alleged crimes involving one of her clients. This uh, story that we have been covering about Sean Diddy Combs and your client who has accused him of rape um, and sexual assault, and this went back to 2018. Now, when you were on our show last week, you said the police were working with you on this case. You wanted to get the report. We talked about this. You said things were going smoothly, but now it's not. So when did that change? Last night, actually. Wow. I got an email from them uh, the county, not the city police, that then said I needed a subpoena to get the records, which I think we all know about Freedom of Information Act, which requires a public information be given freely. That's why it's a federal law. So I've never experienced in any situation where I have been told I needed a subpoena to get public information. I was floored. I was shocked and it was apparent to me that some type of cover up is going on. If indeed Diddy is being protected by powerful people, it means we might probably never see those tapes. With Epstein's list buried forever and several other similar cases that were never resolved, we can only hope Diddy drags everyone involved down with him during the trials.